So, camper cars. Now, I visited this before. I don't know if any of you remember on my old channel. I butchered trying to make a video of a camper car out of my little Peugeot 306. Now, that went terrible because I didn't record it properly. Anyway, moving on, let's forget that existed. In this video, I said about a Citroen Estate. How it would be much better to have that, but unfortunately, it wasn't my car. Well, I've nicked that car off my mum, and now I drive it, so this time, I'm going to be using that. So yes, it's time to get the Xantia ready. So first things first, the stereo system, because I'm not using the cassette player that my mum had in there previously. And also, all the speakers are shot, so we need to be doing them, because of course, for every camper car, you need a great stereo system. I've also got to sort out some roof bars, so we shall be going into that. I'm going to be custom making some, as I can't find any for the estate, unfortunately. But, well, custom made's better, isn't it? And then, of course, we shall be decking out the back with some boarding and some shelves and a place to put a bed in. And, of course, curtains, which last time were a complete disaster. So we'll see how it goes. As you can see, I'm prioritising my camping trip, not with the rear, the beds, I'm prioritising it with speakers. That's good. Got myself a 90 quid amplifier, because with this, I can rest easy, knowing that my music is better than anyone else who owns a Xantia. Well, and that, that is, that's certified. Like, that? You can't argue that. No, you can't. You absolutely. <laughs> My plan has already gone to shit. It's taken me about five seconds for my plan to go wrong. Why? Well, I was going to put it under the seat, but it doesn't fit. Is that a new record for you? Five seconds for a plan to go wrong? Or is it just another standard issue Hayden plan? Pro installation. That's all right, I suppose. I ain't having show stereo system. The idea is just to replace all of the old speakers with some nicer ones, run them on an amp, Hopefully they'll sound good because I can't put I can't be putting a sub in the back of this one like the Peugeot. I need the space in the boot. Let me just pop the hood. So what are we doing under the under the hood? Under the hood. The hood. Basically. Oops. The issue I have here is that with, unlike the Peugeot, which we had like half a half a mile of space to put our hands down here. That's hot. This one doesn't. However, I have noticed, now this is the dodgy bit, there's actually a nice hole, right? It's like it's actually a fort, it's like Citroen fort on this. Have a little look through there. Ah. It's like they thought people are gonna want to route wires through. But there's another problem. It has to go over that, that there. So. Ah. But, I found another solution. You can actually get something through <laughs> this entire wing to here. So right. Could route this wire through this wing, through here. So it rattles about in the wing when you're driving along. So you're like, all you hear is inside the wing. Yeah. It can't hit the wheel. There's plastic there. There is plastic there. What What about if you just drilled a hole up here? Yeah, but that means drilling a hole. And that that requires too much effort. And then it means there's a hole. That means there's a hole. So I think through off the battery, through here, up through here, keep it nice and tight so it can't rattle too much. Well, because then if it's off the I think to put it through there and hope. Hope. Jesus had faith and look how that worked out. That's looking great. Uh oh. That would ruin everything. And also, it was a pain in the ass to get that stereo on, right? Yeah. Because all the adapters. But then it's going to have... It's going to have eight wires go into it. Plus, two of these. You're going to run out of space behind that dashboard pretty quick I for cables, like aren't you? Space is going to be an issue. And all the cables that I'm running from the amplifier to the speaker wires behind the stereo, because I'm not running them through the door cards, need to be connected. So if I have like eight connectors, you're gonna need a bit of room. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go up camping with a nice stereo system and nowhere to sleep. Because I've <laughs> left it too late yet again. Lastminute.com I've got work tomorrow as well. Oh. Mm, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. No. And on that note, we've done what we've done best and given up because we just can't do anything. Do it tomorrow. I'll get some twin and earth and do it tomorrow. So um, Elliot suggested some uh, welding wire to get it through and it was going brilliant until that happened. <laughs> it's found the only hole in the, in the arch. Oh. Helipopa. Welcome to Wildlife with Den. I don't know what they are. And uh, they're flying around. I've lost them. Where have they gone? Using my really good diagram of the colours, I think that's in. Look at that! Hidden away! The stereo is going completely crazy, but it's in. So, um, yeah. God, that was horrible. And this thing is so irritating when you're trying to put a stereo in. Excuse all the mess, it's a work in progress. So my Kenwood speakers have arrived. Um, I just bought what looked reasonable, speaker-wise. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm not going for anything crazy. Just some stuff that will sound better than what I've got, which is probably anything. So, as far as measurements concerned, I've taken, like, no for... I just measured a rough estimate and bought what I hoped would fit. And actually... If we spin it around, oh, fits like a glove. That is perfect. Look at that. Hopefully, once they're all in and soldered up, I can wire up the positive feed for the now buried amplifier, and it'll all work straight away. So this is just what I'm doing here. I'm just um, looping the cables through. It doesn't look great, I'll be honest, but I'm just looping the cables through and then packing them up with some solder. Um, I would have used the original spay connectors that came with these. However, I used them in the I used them in my 306, and um, over time, the spay connectors actually just come loose, so the speaker would just stop working inside the door card. Oh. You know it's got serious when you are undoing the seat belts to do the uh, stereo system. Yeah, one of the speaker wires had uh, snapped in the rear door. Which is why that one was, wasn't working. So I'm trying to pull new wires through, which is a bloody pain. And I've had to have all of the seat belt out. Brilliant. Lovely stuff. Yeah. So, next up is roof bars. And as you can see, I have got roof bars, but whether I don't think wooden wooden roof bars are going to be good enough for a big roof box so we're going to make some basically the same as this but out of metal which then in future means i could put a proper roof rack on here which um i've started building future videos for the channel to come soon so yes we need to do some measuring Well, I took some measurements and uh, I wrote them on a little bit of wood. Sorry, my very thick papered notepad. And I'm very confident. This is my confident face. Let's get cutting.
the amount I'm going to for this is getting a little bit insane. doing this in broad daylight as you can see we're just um the bars are on there all nice it's really good um it's okay when i do my roof rack for properly i'm gonna play about with this a bit maybe get some nicer washers and stuff and yeah they're well on there they move the old car and all that so pretty good i should say and look you can't see it it's a 2cv van There you go, feast your eyes on that. 2CV van. Yeah. I definitely ain't buying it, sod that. Unique in its own way, I suppose. Well, I can see it in the day now, and I must say it's, um, it's a sight to behold, to say the least. <laughs> She's all bolted up, nice and good. He's a boob. Boob. Anyway, next on the list, is this zoomed in fully? I'm confused. Is these seats. Oh look, they're for the speakers, but I didn't use them. Um, it's always good to keep screws, you know. <laughs> always good to have a few spare screws lying around. So these seats, obviously fold forward like that. But that's a fair amount of space we're losing, so I'm going to whip these seats out. I'm not even sure how. Um, well, it looks like... Ah! Looks like this bit of plastic has to get out of the way first. Yeah, and the bolt there, and then out they come. That's alright then. What's stopping this one? I'm going to break that in a minute. You watch. Well, there we go. Plenty of room. Um, ooh. Hello. Right. Right. We'll put these in the not so mobile Peugeot storage unit. Look, easy lever seat install. Brilliant. Sorry, old girl. Not this year. Yeah, that'll do. So last year that I did this, I had run ropes in throughout the door shuts from the roof bars of my Peugeot. Not the great idea because um, obviously when it rained, which we, it did only rain one night, but when it rained, water ran down through the ropes and onto my head. And make my pillow very wet, so not ideal. This year, however, I'm going to do things differently. Which is kind of only because I'm using a different car. This car has these weird little flap things. We open them up to find two bolts, which is bloody brilliant. Look at that, bloody excellent. So I assume these are to mount like a dog cage or something in, I don't know. But it's got them all round here. These ones here are for the um, tailgate. But I'm sure we could bolt something on them. I'm sure. Without the tailgate flying off. We've even got a light in here, look. Which actually works. So we could even use this light when sitting in the car. However, it uses the main battery, which I don't like. So, I'll probably put my own light in here somewhere. <laughs> so, the plan is, is I'm going to route a rope through all of these using some angle brackets. And, uh hoop my cable, hoop, hoop my curtains through that. So this is my assortment of curtain fixing materials. Standard little angle bracket, 
which I'm going to have to drill out the holes because they're a bit too small. Eyelet to feed the rope through. And I got these hooks because two of the mounts, I feel a hook would be easier so I could hook the curtain up to it, which would then tighten the whole thing. And this is one of the uh, bolts for the actual roof fixing. And as you can see, no, that won't fit. Not even lube can solve that one. So, drill. That'll do it. This is uh, not very easy to do one-handed, but yeah. You get the gist. Oh, it's gone crooked now. So that'll sit there. Obviously I'll bolt it up. Put the rope through that. So uh, yeah, just got to do all the rest and uh, hope to God I don't hit my head on it when I get out of the car. Because it's sharp. There we go. It was actually much more of a faff. Uh, these ones were a pain because the bolt was really long and I said to myself I'd cut them down. Proceeds to forget to cut them. So I ponced about for about 20 minutes before I thought, why don't I just cut them? And I've also had to space that out because obviously these would, they need load. Yeah, that, that thing. And these were just fiddly, but there we are. Didn't even have to unbolt the original tailgate bolts, so the tailgate didn't come falling off. Excellent. So we've got our eyelet up there, hook up there, and then back here, underneath the stupid little flaps I can't take off, there's our other eyelet there. So hopefully I can put a rope round, freed my curtain through, and I can lay here, and no one can look at me, because uh, I don't have any special tinted windows or anything. Curtains seem... To be the best alternative to spending lots of money on special tints. So I either need to find some rope and test this out or just uh, leave it and hope my genius is good enough. But I've also got to still board this out. I'm going in two days and I've got to spend tomorrow packing. This is going to be one hell of a rush. He's a booty kid. Hello booty. My genius is astounding. So here it is, just a quick view. A bit of rope around there, that'd be perfect. Put the curtains on there, drape them over to the sides. And it's all internal, so there won't be any rainwater coming in either. Board prices are through the roof. These two boards and these bits of wood here cost me well over about 50 quid. It's got expensive. These aren't, these are thin bits of like glued together board. They're not, I, mean, I suppose it's ply, isn't it? Anyway, I think the idea is to have one across here, and I'm going to have one across there. I won't bother boarding it there because it's too expensive to board everything. So I'm going for the cheap. The only reason I'm putting a board here is so I can screw shelves onto it. Otherwise, I've got to, there's no other way I can really fix the shelves. So the bed will just sit in there. It'll be all fine. Be good. Be grand. Be grand. Let's get some measurements and do, do, do some cutting. I don't have a jigsaw either. Um, so I guess I'm using my blunt wood saw. Brilliant. Night time is the uh, right time and all that, you know, it's all right. Only the neighbors will complain when I start sawing. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's like we're professionals. But somehow things escalated. So, uh, yeah, before you take a fire extinguisher on a camp trip, it's always a good idea. We have to make, check it works. Make sure it... <laughs> <laughs> I think that works quite well, actually. It snowed! 
<laughs> got to leave it like that. Yeah, it's dusty where it's been sitting for so long. It's, it's like one of those abandoned cars. Well, I suppose it is, but... Barn find. <laughs> ba barn find Peugeot. Just come here to give her a quick service. Well, I say service, just pump up all the tyres. Her MOT was done recently, so she should be good for the, the long road. And look, it's this again. And I might be wrong, it's a Diane chassis. And the body is completely custom made. Yeah, interesting I guess. In its own right. Not my cup of tea. But I can appreciate the ingenuity that's gone into making it. So, as you saw during the night, I did a bit of woodwork, and um, yeah, woodworking is not my strong point. Um, but anyway, here we are. Uh, my woodwork rivals that of an orangutan. Actually, no, scrap that. An orangutan would do a better job. Hey, shut up. I'm trying to make a goddamn video here. Yeah, there we are. I'm quite impressed, considering I only bought two sheets and had to make do. I don't think it's too shabby really. The only reason this bit's bigger here is just because these were the bits I had left as offcuts. I had to make do. And uh, yeah, I've used pretty much all the wood. Barely any is left. Well, it's packing day and um, it's safe to say she's fully loaded. Look. Slammed. <laughs> It'll soon be hitting the road and hopefully the old girl behaves. Hopefully. Well, it's time to hit the road. Let's go! Let's go! 